Hey guys, it's me, Orange Bear, and guess what? I'm about to teach you how to play Earl like a pro right now. Let's get straight into that. The first thing we're going to touch on is his items. These are going to be the best items and must-have items to play Earl. The number one item you need is Holy Sandals, so you can pull those people into the water and take them out. Your second item is going to be Jungle Shoes. Your third item is going to be Vampire Teeth. And your fourth item is either going to be Toolkit or you can take Bandages. Now, I don't really recommend you take Adrenaline Shot because he's pretty tanky, but you can if you want. Also, I noted, if you have S-tier items, I would preferably go with Muscles over Pheromone Essence. Muscles works much better for him. As Pheromones, it's okay. You can get some good gameplay, but my personal preference is Muscles. Okay, now that we've covered these awesome items, we're going to go straight into his weapon traits. So, for his awesome spear, you're going to max range first, then knockback. That's how I like to play him. Next, you're going to go for his bow, which you're going to max range first, then cooldown reduction. And for his shotgun, you're going to max range first, then cooldown reduction. Before we get into the awesome tips of Earl, I'm going to tell you guys right now the best skins you need to have equipped for that meme damage. Obviously, the best skin is Lord Earl's skin. The second best skin is that awesome Sandcastle skin that you will see on this gameplay. Either one of those will give you massive meme power damage. Also, the best Earl emote, in my opinion, is the laughing one for that happy laugh to give them that massive emotional damage when you're spamming those emotes. So now, let's get into those awesome Earl tips. Now, for tip number one when it comes to Earl, let me tell you right now, this is the major tip. If you have Holy Sandals equipped, you go in that water and you grab your enemy and pull them in. Now, if they don't got Holy Sandals or are unable to walk on water, you're going to be demolishing them easy because they're not going to be able to swim. And you're going to be able to use your weapons to either boom, boom, ratatatata them or throw the spear in their face and blow them up. It's Perfect. Now this next tip is pretty obvious, but let me tell you right now, you're going to need to master walking on his sides with Earl because he's the only character that you need to do this with. Out of all the other characters in the zoo, you can just walk around, whatever, it doesn't matter. But remember with his passive, you are allowed to gain extra momentum. You're like a bullet train. You're like Sonic himself running across, but only at the side because you know that's how crabs walk. Now that gives you that extra bonus speed. So let me tell you right now, if you can master this, you'll be able to walk circles around most of your enemies, especially if you need to retreat or simply follow up on somebody and catch him in time just so you can get that grapple on them. Now for your third tip, I want to say something before I get into this. I want to tell you guys right now that it's okay not to be able to grab every enemy with your claw. I miss sometimes too. It's okay, but you do want to get better at aiming that because that's a very good engagement tool, especially if you're on teams and you can pull somebody into your team. It's insta-death for that character. It's really amazing and good for Earl. He's a kind of tank that allows you to engage from a distance, and that's very unique in most games, especially Zuba. Another thing you want to know here with Earl is that with his Primal Instinct, you get an extra punch with your active. That is very important, especially when you want to do some instant demolishing damage to instantly proc an adrenaline shot when you pull somebody in. It's very important, but don't expect it to do too much damage, so it's okay. What you really want to do is when you pull somebody or engage somebody, you want to immediately unload your shotguns in on them. So you pull and load both shotguns instantly and then use your bow. You can use your bow first if you're low on health, but let me tell you right now, the shotgun does more than enough damage first, and let me tell you, it's perfect to do that. What I like to do instantly is go in with that claw, use the double shotgun, and then I'll run back with my bow and arrow. And as I'm running back, then I'll use my spear if they're either running or just to do some extra damage. My spear is normally the last thing I use unless I'm running around and I'm just kiting around. And that's really all the major tips for Earl. If you think I missed any or you have some tips that I didn't mention here, please leave it in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.